I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the present time. How your person sees you, how you see them, and then we'll talk about why it's happening. Please keep in mind the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. They see you could actually be you see them. So just take it for whichever way fits your situation. So Taurus, for the present time, coming up second week of July, Seven of Wands and the Magician. Now, the Seven of Wands, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things will be going well, you should be feeling really good, and your projects, they're moving right along. They're moving right along, but you may still have some regular moments of self-doubt. But now is the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to other people because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it points, toward, it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. The Seven of Wands is with the Magician card. Now the Magician card, it signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and so many other areas. Just know that you will not have it all handed to, to you on a plate. You will not. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. The magician is all about action, so if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because Anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So, we got the Seven of Wands and the Magician. Magician, I, I'm picking up that you, you might have manifested something, a situation, a person. Because the Magician is about having manifestation powers. Taurus, did you, are you manifesting someone? Well... You got the power, you got the you got the opportunity to do it now. Manifestation powers. I'm picking up you you're manifesting some situation or person or something. And it looks like you wanna come out on top with the seven of wands here. You it looks like you could be wanting to be the last man standing. Now, if this is not you, it could be the person that you're dealing with. It could be someone new coming towards you. It could be, who knows, maybe someone that you used to know. Maybe it's a family member. But let's take a look at the rest of the reading so we can get more clarity on these two cards. So we'll move those two cards over to the, to the side for now until we see what's going on with the rest of the reading. So, the person that you're dealing with, let's talk about how they see you. So, they see you like the Fool card, and they also see you like the Queen of Swords. Now, the Fool card, it's about newness in one form or another. In many ways, it's about having the open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child. We know children, they're trusting and trust, it forms the basis of meaning for this card. The Fool card is considered a positive card in the tarot, very positive. Um, but there could be one thing. It's going to be important for you to, to be sure that you're looking where you're going. And I say this because if you see the picture of this card, you see this young man. He looks like he could be hiking in the mountains and he's just feeling like he's ready to take a leap and just go for some type of some type of whatever he's feeling who knows what he's thinking he's just ready to go for it and he's not really watching where he's going he's about to walk off of a cliff and what's below him is looks like all blue water and the, the water looks like eternity looks like it could be the Pacific Ocean and there he goes so, like I said, 
It's going to be important for you to be sure that you're looking where you're going, trusting to take a step into the unknown. That's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. So, that's just a little bit about the magician. and Kind of like how they see you, the person you're dealing with. You could be a traveler. You could be a risk taker. They could be seeing you as a risk taker. Someone who might run off. Or just someone who's ready to take a leap. Ready to just jump in. Now they also see you like the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, it can point to a, a woman in your life. This person, if it's not a woman, um, it could be a man. Now, they're the type that that's not to be trifled with. She or he could have hair on the darker end of the spectrum, dark hair, dark eyes. And if it's not a person, it's showing that there could be a need for you to be forceful and honest in some situations just to get your needs met. So you may need to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords, it can indicate that your instincts are serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. Like I said, this Queen of Swords very very forceful energy and some people find it very find it or find her very abrasive so they also see you like the queen of swords um, you're ready to cut something out yeah and you're just about tired the queen of swords they uh this type doesn't really have patience they're just done with it, and they just cut it out right away. Very forceful about it, too. And it looks like you're, you're ready to take a leap onto something. But we need to clarify these two cards. Yeah, so for now, let's take a look at how you see the person you're dealing with. So, you see them like the Five of Wands and the Three of Swords. Now the five of wands is showing competition. You see how these five men, they got these sticks or these wands in their hand and they're about to beat each other like crazy. So this um, could be in the area of work or career, but this, since this is a love reading, it's referring to romantic rivals. So don't be afraid of competing. Just know that you have something to offer. You can be successful. But you're going to have to try just to see results. Also, your need to believe in yourself is stronger than ever now. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You also could be thinking of making a career change when you get the, a career change when you get the five of wands. And just know you can be successful at that too. But it's all about um, believing in yourself, making that stronger than ever now. The need to believe in yourself is going to have to be stronger than ever. Because the competition is there. And it looks like you see your person, person bringing competition to this connection. So, the person who you have your eye on, they may be being pursued by several people. So, you see them as um, very challenging. They bring obstacles to this connection. So, it makes you struggle for dominance or struggle to, it's a struggle to be with this person. Now, you also see them like the Three of Swords, which is about heartbreak. It's about re feeling rejected, or you could see um, them thinking that uh, you're shutting them out. It's about relationship difficulty, the Three of Swords. There's sorrow. There's some type of sorrow that's undeniable when you get this card. But what's on the other side of the sorrow? It can be enhanced understanding and joy. So just embrace any sorrow and pain that comes up at this time so that you can move past it. Now this can point to some deep emotional issues. 
it's possible. Um, some issues that might need to be addressed before you can move on. So basically, you see them like this Three of Swords and the Five of Wands. Like I said, they um, they make this connection challenging because um, there's romantic rivals. Other people trying to get up in the mix. And they might welcome it. So it causes you and your person not to see eye to eye. And you see them bringing heartbreak and sadness. And relationship difficulties with the Three of Swords. They bring that to this connection. Now just keep in mind if... Like I said, this reading... It's a love reading, but it can, if you know you're not dealing with anyone, uh, yeah, people say, I'm not dealing with anyone, so that just doesn't relate to me. It could be a family member, you know, or it could be a friend that you're dealing with. So you have to kind of like, these are general readings, so you have to kind of like interpret them in a way that it fits your situation. For example, these men that are fighting with their sticks, they're um, battling each other, and it's about competition, it could, just to give you another example, it could be that um, you see a person, person inviting friends that you don't really care for. You know their, their friends are bad for this connection. They could be inviting friends to this connection that just cause trouble. Every time they bring their friends over or get together with their friends. And it causes you to not to see eye to eye. So, yeah, you kind of have to interpret the general readings because it's not a personal reading. And there's so many people out there watching. But anyway... That, that's how you see your person. I hope I explained that pretty clear. So they bring they bring sorrow and relationship difficulty to this connection because they invite a bunch of crap into the connection. Now, let's take a look at why it's happening. We've got this Five of Cups. And it's with the Seven of Pentacles. I like the Seven of Pentacles. It's a beautiful card. But let's talk about the Five of Cups. You see where this um, man, he's got on this cloak. And it has a hood on it. Five of Cups, it reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you could find yourself asking, what will you choose to focus on? Are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? So the point is, what I'm trying to say, you have to watch where you put your focus. Or you might find that you need to watch where you put your focus just to make sure it's for your highest good. So this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Because of disappointment. There's some loss, regret. Feelings of maybe abandon, abandonment, and feelings of unloved. That's what you get with the Five of Cups. There's disappointment. And because it's with the Seven of Pentacles, which is a card about returns on investments, this can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you have sown. And this is usually positive. So you should be feeling more than usually... Well, let me rephrase that. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. And things will be moving along. Things will be moving along pretty well. And you'll be feeling really hopeful about the future with a good cause. Now, you may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. Now, 
Yeah, so you see the Seven of Pentacles is the card that's below why happening. This lady, she looks like she gets up every morning just to water this plant and take care of it. And it looks like it has grown really large and the leaves are dark green. Uh, she's taking really good care of it. Or she has taken really good care of it. She took good care of it. <laughs> and um, she's reaping the rewards by, by watching it grow. So you, Taurus, or your person feels this way. But we need to recap this reading so we can get the complete picture because it's kind of all over the place, wouldn't you say so? Okay, so let's recap it right now. So, Taurus, like I said, it looks like I'm, I'm just looking at this Fool card. This card always pops out to me. It's, it's a very it's a cute card, it's funny, and it just, it just shouts out, I'm ready. I don't care what it takes, I've made up my mind, and I'm going for it. And I'm picking up that the, this is what you're doing, you're jumping right in there. And because it's paired with the Queen of Swords, you're saying time out for any BS. Time out for the BS. I'm jumping in. I'm going for a, a new beginning. I'm taking a leap of faith. And I'm going for, for something new maybe. Yeah, because your person, the person you're dealing with, if it's not um, a love interest, it could be, a, uh, like I said, a friend. Um, they bring relationship difficulties to this connection and it causes a lot of sadness and your person has um, some regrets and disappointments by looking at this five of cups card the card that's above why happening they have regrets and disappointments and i'm picking up that um you might have manifested this um it looks like you're manifesting a new beginning with the magician card here and you're feeling like you just you're, you're so ready you're just so ready to cut out the BS that's going on with this person and you you're, you're so eager to just jump into a new beginning that you're manifesting because the magician is about new beginnings and you're feeling like you could actually make a new beginning happen. So you're cutting out all the games and the, the BS that you felt that you had to deal with or you dealt with with this person. Um, there's disappointment. It looks like your person is disappointed up there. And they're, they're sad. You see them as being sad, and um, they're not happy because you're deciding to take a new beginning somewhere else. I'm picking up that this Seven of Pentacles, you might have been hopeful at one time. You, you wanted it to grow. You put a lot of energy and effort into this connection. But now you realize you just, you don't want to put up with the, the, the mess that this person brings to this connection anymore. So, yeah, you're manifesting a new beginning. I'm, I, I'm looking at the magician card and it's about new beginnings and it's about making a lot of great things happen. Yeah, and, and um, with this um, Seven of Wands showing up here. Yeah, at one point you might have wanted to be the last man standing in this connection. Or the last woman standing. But you realize it's, 
it's it's too challenging. There's your person brings a lot of a lot of mess into this connection. And you probably feel like you have to beat beat these people off with a stick. <laughs> you got you feel like you got to fight just to you know stay in this connection. <laughs> So you got to fight your person for bringing them in there and then you have to fight the people that are that are trying to come in. And like I said, maybe these are just uh, nosy family members that just always want to make a problem for you and your person. But you're done with it. You got your sword and you're cutting everything out. And it looks like you could be moving on. Yeah, you got the you got the wand in your hand and you're about to create some new beginnings for yourself. So good for you, Taurus. Yeah, good for you. So I hope this resonates, but as you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Taurus, I thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are being safe during these trying times and stay strong. So just hang in there, be patient until uh, things work it work things work its way out or work work its way up or however it's going to work out. But be safe and stay strong. Please come back and check me out or check out the next reading for Taurus, which will be in about another three or four days just in case this reading does not resonate maybe the next reading will so I hope that June and July are beautiful months for you and I hope you have a great day I hope to see you at the next reading and I can never say it enough thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you at the next reading take care